what's up everybody hope everybody's doing good what kind of food delivery stories you heard um came out to you know send out some mail and um see if it was busy but it wasn't busy at all there was nothing going on i'm like a lot of you guys um so i'm going back to the house come back for dinner shift it is tuesday you know how it is on tuesdays in most areas it sucks but my tuesday's been pretty good but dinner time will bring me back up i ain't worried about it you hurt i want to talk about something let's talk about my ticket um i was in a different area that i i, I worked there time to time doing packages deliveries um for walmart for spark and so i go and let's, let's just get straight to the story i go and i stop at a stop sign and i cross the street in the next block uh, there's a police officer parked on the right side so i go around every time i see a police officer i always look at my my um my miles per hour what i'm doing so i was doing 15. so i went around went half a block to the stop sign press the brakes um full stop i mean full stop there was no cars coming so I press the brake, I turn, turn right, I uh, merge to the left, and I'm waiting at the stop sign. Right? That's the whole story. I look up, cops right on the bumper. When I cops right on your bumper, you're getting pulled over. So I said, alright, cool, let's see what's up. I turn uh, green to go left, and... Um, the lights go whoop, whoop. you know what I mean so at that point I'm like okay here we go what did I do because I really don't know what I did at this point never had a ticket before just so you guys know never right so what happens I um gotta go right in the gas station the entrance because it's a busy street so I gotta get in there real quick and, and park there was a guy parked crooked so I parked next to him on the other side turn off the vehicle right so I turn off the vehicle and this lady comes up the cop comes up she looked very scared first of all I don't know if she was a rookie if you're watching this if you're a rookie you gotta do better if you're not a rookie this job ain't for you all right so she says, how are you? I said, fine. You was driving aggressive. I caught you at 40 miles per hour. I'm like, 40 miles per hour? And then she says, what are you doing here? Once she said that after the miles per hour, I said, okay, maybe she saw a new vehicle. You know, it's a black vehicle. It has tint, but it was halfway down, legal tint. So I'm thinking this is just a stop where it's like, okay, they got to make something up to make sure I'm not doing nothing stupid around here. Okay, fine. She said, yeah, you went through a stop sign too. I'm like, wait, what? And then she said, you didn't stop, make a full stop. Like, you didn't stop long enough. I'm like, too many stories, right? Going right off, off the bat. So I give her my stuff, my, my stuff, my license and everything. And then she tells me, she was nice, even though she was suspect. But then she gets loud at the end a little bit. She's like, well, I think I'll let you go for the stops, uh, the, the, the speeding. But I don't know about the stop sign. She raised her voice there a little bit and walked away. So I'm thinking, okay, so she's going to let the speeding pass? The speeding? But she's worried about the stop sign. I said, okay. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I never had a ticket before. She's going to see I never had an issue. So it's going to be a warning for not stopping that long at a stop sign. I'm waiting five minutes. I get a knock on the passenger window. I wrote it down. It's another vehicle. She called another vehicle for a stop sign. And then this officer asks me, uh, phone number, what's your address? I'm like, I just gave her all my information. She has my paperwork. So at this point, it's already, I'm like, this is not a stop sign situation. I'm being pretty much targeted right now. Suspicious you know, vehicle in a new area. Okay. At that point still, I'm like, okay, they're going to see I got no issues. They're going to let me go. 
I'm looking through the rear view and the cop that knocked on the passenger seat is just looking at me like real intense to the vehicle. That's when I knew, okay, they're trying to find something. They think they found somebody that maybe has warrants or been in jail or doing something illegal. And I hate to burst your bubble, but not all of us been to jail, all right? So at this point, I'm like, yeah, this is, um, this is targeting. This is like being stupid. Um, but at the same time, thinking to myself, all right, I won't get a ticket, right? So then, I'm waiting a long time. I'm, I timed my phone. It was almost 20 minutes. She comes back and says, sorry, my printer was messing up. I'm like, is she really going to give me a ticket? So she's like, here's a ticket. I'm like, what's this for? The stop sign that I didn't stop long enough in her eyes. $169. Now, I'm gonna be paying this this week. I'm going this Friday to go pay it. Um, I was going to fight it, and I'm like, you know what? <sighs> Her word against mine, you know what I mean? But, I'm like, for a stop sign? I'm like, she's, got any, she's like, you got any questions? I'm like, what questions do I have? Like. I never had a ticket before. Like, I'm 42 years old. Never had a ticket. And you gonna tell me over something stupid. Conclusion of this story, in my opinion, I was targeted. You made up a reason to pull me over because I was doing nothing wrong. I made a full stop at that stop sign. I mean a full stop. Car stop. Look both ways, no cars coming. I went. I don't know, man. It, it was stupid, unnecessary. This stuff's been happening to me lately here in Florida. Like, I went to the Hard Rock. I think I told you guys about that. Dude was like, yo, it was cold in there. It's like, take off your hood. You're hiding your identity. And I'm like, everybody's in a smoking session, got face masks and hats on. And you worry about my hoodie? Like, I don't know, man. It's it's stupid. I was very proud of not having a ticket, and now I got a ticket on my record. Got to take the stupid traffic school. It's it was just stupid. Like, it was dumb. I'm sorry. I respect officers, but this one. If I ever work in that area again and get pulled over by the same cop or a different cop over something stupid gonna take that to court all the way all the way but anyway guys hope you guys have a good night or good day whatever <sighs> hit the subscribe button for your boy real quick